Hey beautiful people, it's Courtney. Welcome back. I'm back with part two of my Black Friday slime haul. All of my slimes finally came in, so I'm super excited to show you guys what else I got. I'll link part one down below if you haven't seen it yet. And if you aren't already, please make sure to click that subscribe button for new slime videos three to four times a week. I am literally always posting and I'm trying to reach 600,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So let's see if we could do that. And before we hop into the video, I'm actually having a giveaway right now where I'm giving away two lucky winners will receive a slime 16 ounce gift box. These are super limited edition. They come with a slime and a bunch of goodies and extras in it. And all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to this channel, my vlog channel, and follow both of my Instagrams. I will link all of that down below in the description box for you, and I'll be announcing the winner. It ends on December 18th, and I'll be announcing the winner on my slime Instagram. So definitely make sure to check there on December 18th for the winner. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the slime packages. This first box is from Slime City Bee, and Carly was so sweet. This package did take a little bit to arrive, and she sent a little note to go along with it, and she sent me a ton of extras, you guys, and extra slimes. She was so, so sweet. So I actually ordered three slimes and then the slime mini kit. I think it was called her Tis the Season Trio or something along those lines, but she was actually so incredibly sweet and sent me an extra three slimes that you're seeing here. Um, so the slimes I actually bought totaled $57 for the two packages that I ordered. I'm gonna show you those first, and then I'm gonna get into the ones that she sent me. So this first one was the trio, and this was like the perfect and cutest little trio ever. These three ounces were actually a really nice size to play with. Um, so this first one was like a peppermint frosting. For some reason, this peppermint, for some reason, smelled like nail polish remover to me. I don't know why, I usually love peppermint, but the slime texture was incredible incredible. It was so, so thick. I'm absolutely obsessed. P.S. I'm sorry the table's a little bit shaky. It was actually my camera. I was trying a new filming setup and didn't realize it was shaky as I was poking the slime until I was like sitting here editing it. So I hope you guys can forgive me for this video. Next video it will be fixed again. But anyways, this slime was so nice. I've been playing with it so much. Next, I got Winter Candy Apple Scrub, and this was a part of the trio as well, and this smells amazing, just like the Bath & Body Works scent, like she always says, and this one was another really, really great texture. And the last slime in this trio was sugar cookie dough, and this was my favorite. Not only did it smell amazing, it was like such an incredible sleigh texture. I loved it. I played with it the whole time I was editing this video. My fingers look like prunes right now. Um, but this one was just so nice, so holdable, so spreadable. Just loved everything about it. So then she was super sweet and sent me this chocolate covered candy cane slime, which I couldn't get open. I was waiting for Andy to get home because it like, I think it overflowed a little bit and I could not get it open. So I'm just going into lime gelato. And this one, you guys, oh my gosh, the bubble pops are incredible. This is such a nice thick texture, but still great for poking. And I am just so obsessed with it. Um, this one had like a little bit of instant snow in it to kind of give it a unique texture. And I just absolutely loved it. It was scented like lime. I just wanna say that I have gotten so many Many slime packages and purchase so many and out of all of them usually there's some I have favorites and ones that I don't care for as much Carly's package I was obsessed with every single slime in it and it they were all just so incredible I love thick slimes and all of these were like very thick holdable really nicely to play with slimes so I was just obsessed with all of them I love her packaging I think her slimes are such amazing quality
I also forgot to mention that last one inflated so much. This next one is called Fruit Gushers Cloud and it smelled just like candy and Fruit Gusher gummies. And at first I thought this one like was not gonna be a very good cloud slime. It was kind of stiff and it was really odd. It was warmed up some, like I let these slimes sit inside so they weren't, it wasn't like it was cold, but the more I played with it, like this was at first, there was no drizzle. And the more I played with it and just kept stretching it, it turned into the nice drizzle I really really liked it so this turned in to be so much better than I was expecting and turned in to be a really amazing cloud slime Next are the ones that she sent me for free, which was so, so sweet. And this was one I have been wanting to try for a long time. This is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It does smell just like the cereal. And it was such a thick slime. I loved it. Great to play with. Like I said, I was so just obsessed with all her slimes. I really like this one a lot as well. And then this last slime was called Gobble Gobble and it came with a really cute little turkey charm. And this one to me smelled kind of like maybe pumpkin or pumpkin spice or something along those lines. And again, another really, really thick holdable slime. This one I think was a little less clicky than the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but still an amazing texture. All right, so this last package is from Peachy Babies, and this is the package I was waiting on for this video. It took about two and a half weeks to get, which I think was kind of long. It was definitely the longest out of all of the slimes and packages I ordered. So inside this package, it was a $38 package. She sent all these little extras, which I thought was really, really sweet. And at first, I was so confused. I felt so dumb. I could not figure out what this was. I didn't know if it was just like a squishy, if I was supposed to leave it in there, but I just decided to break the whole thing open and see what it was and it was definitely a slime it was i think it was like a cloud cream slime definitely like thanksgiving candy corn themed and scented so it was kind of hard to get out of that bag but i think it was a really cool and unique concept but this was just like a cloud cream slime really nice it was a little bit overactivated and stiff um but it was a nice touch and it wasn't something i ordered so that was super sweet that it came in the package Then I got the do not buy this box and she said this box was gonna be like super limited edition, like you would actually want to buy it. The name was just kind of like a trick, but it was a surprise mystery box. And this box was $20 and I definitely think it was worth the money. I got three six ounce slimes, which I think is a great deal. It came with a whole bag of Skittles, which I love sour Skittles, I love anything sour. It came with like a little sprinkles and little squishy. So for the three slimes, I definitely think the $20 was a awesome deal so they were all packaged differently I think the ones with black lids may have just been like the um, Black Friday slimes that she did differently um, but this first one was like a jelly texture and it was really really nice and scented nicely as well all her slimes are always scented really nice um, so yeah I really enjoyed this this was definitely like a jelly slime I'm not really sure it was like a jelly icy slime The 
Then there was a spice pumpkin sorbet and it was scented just like the name. It literally, I thought I was playing with food at this point. It kind of looked just like pumpkin pie filling at first, just the orange color. So this one was a very similar texture to me from the previous one. I thought they were like very similar. Um, but this one was a little bit more overactivated. For some reason, I always find her slimes like a little bit more on the stiff side. Um, but this was a nice slime as well. Now this last slime was called chocolate cherry bread and it was the last slime in this mystery box and this one was my favorite for sure. It was a butter slime and it had some like foam beads in it and the scent was amazing. Normally I'm not a huge fan of like chocolate scents in slimes. Sometimes they smell like a little too artificial but this one smelled amazing and it was a really unique fun texture. I really enjoyed playing with this one a ton. Definitely my favorite from all of the slimes that I got from her. So this one gets a huge thumbs up. This last slime was called Sister Snatch, and this is one that I actually picked out and wasn't in the mystery box. I thought the colors on this cloud slime were great. Now, this was definitely more like a cloud dough, which is what it was listed as on her website, but it said that it had like a really good drizzle, and I'm pretty sure I watched a video on her Instagram where it had an awesome drizzle. However, this one definitely did not have a drizzle at all. It had a really nice, more like cloud cream, cloud dough texture, but it didn't really fluff up. At first, it wouldn't even drizzle at all. I kept playing with it and playing with it. Couldn't get it to fluff up and drizzle, um, but still a nice texture. Like there was no fallout, so it was still fun to play with, um, but not drizzly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, comment do not buy this in the comments down below and I'll know you made it to the very end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to enter my giveaway and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.